Hello everybody. Welcome to Auto Implants for Life. Today we will discuss about clavicle fracture and implants and instruments required in the procedure. So let's begin. There are different types of plates used to fix clavicular fracture. To start with, this is a clavicle medial locking plate. It has combi holes and are available in various sizes. This is a site specific plate. This one is a left side plate. And this one is a right side plate. The site is mentioned on the surface of the plate. It has got both locking and non-locking holes. Now let us come to the next one. This is an anterior superior lateral clavicle plate. Again, this is a locking plate with combi holes available in different lengths and it is also a site specific plate. This one is a clavicle locking hook plate. If the fracture site is near the acronium, we generally use this plate. That is why this is also called an acronium locking plate. Again, this is available in left and right. It is a site specific plate and it is always mentioned in the surface of each plate. This one's left and this one's right. At times, if the fracture is not matching with the pre-contoured plate, in such cases, generally, we use a one-third tubular plate or we can use a 3.5 reconstruction plate. Generally, these plates are straight. In order to bring it in the shape of the clavicle, we will have to bend it, for which we will have to use a bender such as this. This is a recon plate bender. And this is a normal plate bender. You can bend this plate from any angle vertically with the help of this normal plate bender. And if you want to bend it horizontally, you have to use this recon plate bender. We will have to fix this plate here in this cavity and then apply pressure here in order to bend this plate as per the curvature required. Same process is used for the one third tubular plate. This is also required to be bent in order to match the curvature of the bone. These plate benders are a very important piece of equipment and must be included while arranging a clavicle set for OT. There are other options for these plates available as well. There is a better and a stronger version available for these two plates, which is a 3.5 mm reconstruction locking plate. This consists of combi holes. In case of a normal recon plate, it has only got dynamic hole and for this locking plate, it has got both locking and a dynamic hole. Similarly, for one third tubular plate, the same kind of variant is available. This is a non-locking plate with the dynamic holes. And this one is one third tubular locking plate with combi holes. You can fix it with both locking and non-locking screws. Now let us talk about instruments required. To start with, for non-locking screw, we will need a 2.7 mm drill bit. In order to fix a locking screw, we will require 2.8 mm long drill bit.
and for both locking and non lock 2.7 mm king screws we will require a 2 mm drill bit in order to fix them next we will require a depth gauge in order to measure the length of the screw that is needed to be fixed then we will require a 3.5 mm bone tap for non locking screws for non locking cortical screws 2.7 mm solid screwdriver then 3.5 mm solid screwdriver then 3.5 mm torque limiting screwdriver which is used to check the torque of the locking screw after it is fixed This is a 2.7 mm torque limiting screwdriver. These are all solid screwdrivers. Torque limiting screwdrivers are used to do a final check of the locking screws. Then 2.7 mm drill sleeve. Two pieces. Three point five mm drill sleeve. Two pieces. We will also need K wire which can be used for various purposes like holding the plate in the fracture site or for the reduction of the fracture. This is again a very important piece of instrument needed for the surgery. Now let us discuss about the screws required. This is a screw tray. This is a 2.7 mm locking screw which gets locked in both the plate and the bone. Next, a 3.5 mm locking screw. Three point five mm locking screw. Both these locking screws are provided in the size from fourteen mm in length till thirty mm in length, with minimum of two mm difference in length. Four pieces of each size. Next, it's a 2.7 mm cortical screw. This is a non-locking screw. This only gets locked in the bone and not in the plate. This one is a 3.5 mm cortical screw. For this we have to provide it in the length from 12 mm to 30 mm, four pieces of each size. It goes for both these 2.7 mm and 3.5 mm cortical screws. Next, a 4 mm full thread canceller screw, which is at times a very useful and a needed screw for canceller's bone. This is also needed to be provided from 12 mm till 26 mm, two pieces each. And lastly, a 3.5 mm locking canceller screw. This one also, we have to provide from 12 mm to 26 mm in length, four pieces each.
let us just quickly repeat once again. These are 2.7 mm locking screw provided from 12 mm to 30 mm in length with 2 mm difference, 4 pieces of each side. This is a 3.5 mm locking screw. This one also will be provided from 12 mm to 30 mm, 4 pieces each with 2 mm difference in length. These are 3.5 mm cortical screw, 4 pieces of each size, 12 mm to 30 mm. These are 2.7 mm cortical screws from 12 mm to 30 mm, 4 pieces of each size. These are 4 mm full thread canceller screw from 12 mm to 26 mm, minimum of 2 pieces each. These are locking canceller screws. These are also provided from 12 to 26 mm in length, 4 pieces each. That will be all for today's video for clavicle fracture instruments. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.